Next is iMessage. Now, I believe we have the best messaging client out there on the iPhone. It works tremendously well to send text messages, send photos, send videos, and our customers love it, our iPhone customers. But what about our iPad customers and our iPod Touch customers? They've been asking us for a messaging solution, and so in iOS 5, we are launching a new messaging service between all iOS 5 customers. And we call it iMessage. So iMessage supports the iPhone, the iPad, and the iPod Touch. It does everything you've come to expect from our messaging app on the iPhone. So you can send text messages, photos, videos, send contacts, do group messaging, everything you've come to expect. And we've added some really nice new features. Things like delivery receipts. So you can see if it's been delivered to the other person's device. Optional read receipts, so you can see if it's been read. This is one of my favorite, typing indication. So you can tell now if someone starts typing and they're responding to you, you know you're about to get that message. iMessages are pushed to all your devices. So if you start a conversation on your iPad and later pick up your iPhone, you can pick up right where you left off with all the context of that conversation to date. It is supported over both 3G and Wi-Fi, and everything is sent encrypted over the, wear, over the, over the air. And I'd like to just give you a demo of iMessage now. To do so, I'd also like to invite up Jaws, Vice President of Product Marketing, to help me. Hey, Jaws. Scott. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. If you don't mind, I'm going to play a game, though. Uh, playing a game. OK. Try not to bother me. Uh, okay. Product marketing. Uh, <laughs> So he's on the, his, the iPhone on the left. I'm on my iPad on the right-hand side. I'm going to go ahead and launch messages here. So here I have a conversation going with Jaws. Normally, we don't stand next to each other when we have these conversations. It's the most I've talked to you all week. Let's grab lunch after the show. Uh, no. OK, so when I send this to him, you'll notice as he plays the game, it comes in right at the top. And he can keep on playing the game, so it's not interrupting him. I'm As he a, does his lovely job playing this I'm game. I'm on a roll. Don't bother me. <laughs> <laughs> but at any time, he can get right back to that message. Uh-oh. At any time. Uh, I think this might be a good time. At any time, time you can. <laughs> <laughs> That's so addictive. <laughs> <laughs> Just by pulling down, tapping no. on that, takes him right to uh, this. Now, as he starts typing, see on my side where there's the three dots in the balloon? That lets me know he's currently responding. Well, I'll check maybe some other messages while he's doing so. <laughs> so then when he sends the message, you see where it's sent. He gets a little delivered. It already knows it's been delivered right to my device. And when I tap on his message, it sends a read receipt saying, read, 11.15 AM. He knows I've read it. So read receipts, great. We can also send uh, high quality photos and videos. Let me go ahead and choose a photo here. All right, maybe we can have a picnic by the bridge, Oz. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> uh, send him a little picture again. You can tell from the dots on his side that I'm composing it right now. Send it off. And again, we go over Wi Fi as well as 3G. Sends it over. And again, he gets it. Nice high quality, and the entire transmission is encrypted over the air. And again, I'm on my iPad, so it supports iPad, iPod Touch, and iPhone. Thanks, Joss. Can't wait for lunch. So iMessage. And we're actually building this on the push notification system we've built, so we know how to scale this. We have. Incredible features here in iOS 5. The notification system, which is just you know, really nice. Newsstand makes it even better to read your newspapers and magazines right 
on your iPad or iPhone, great Twitter integration, a new Reminders app, you can be PC free if you want, and the new iMessage application. And these are just 10 of the more than 200 new user features. There's really something for everyone in iOS 5. And there's other things like AirPlay mirroring. You can now mirror your entire iPad 2 right to your television wirelessly using Apple TV. <laughs> Wi-Fi sync to iTunes. Before, you had to... Yeah, exactly. Before, before, you had to go back and plug into your computer to sync, and now, when you are charging at night, let's say, your iOS device will automatically find iTunes over Wi-Fi and sync with it. And before it syncs, it'll back itself up, so you automatically get backed up every single day. There's also some really nice new multitasking gestures, so you can just flick right between your apps. It's really nice. Well, not only is there something for every one of our customers, there's something for every one of our developers. Some great new development tools, including significant enhancements to Xcode instruments in the simulator. Even Core Image. We brought over the powerful Core Image frameworks from Mac OS X to iOS. This allows developers to do complex image operations like red eye reduction, face detection, right from within their apps. So you're asking yourself, when are you getting it? And the answer is, we are giving a developer seed to you today. This is going to be great for the conference as you learn about all the new APIs and all of the sessions this week. You can go and use those APIs immediately using your seed. And iOS 5 will ship to all of our customers this fall iOS 5 will support the same devices that we supported with our last software update. So that's the iPhone 3GS and iPhone 4, all the iPads, iPad and iPad 2, and the third and fourth generation iPod Touch. And that is iOS 5. Thanks. <laughs>